With your permission, I would like to indulge in a little naked patriotism. The United States of America, during my lifetime, has become a nation like none other on earth. And not because it is the most powerful, but because we, more times than I can count, have taken the side of the oppressed with no intention to rule or conquer or pillage. And in the act of offering our assistance, we have sacrificed blood and money and lives, and we have beat ourselves up. We question our motives. Our leaders engage in heated debates of the hows and the whys, but we continue to be the single brightest light for the world's mistreated. Supporting the troops and their families on the front lines in the war on terror is not a partisan act. It's an act of pride, of compassion, of love, concern, anguish, and hope. They carry our colors into harm's way and have since 1776. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the flag that flew over Valley Forge. It was torn in two by the gray and the blue and bled through two world wars. I give you the flag that burned in the street in protest and anger and shame. The very same flag that covered the men who died defending her name. We now stand together, Americans all either by choice or by birth, to honor the flag that has flown on the moon and changed the face of the earth. History will show this flag stood a friend to the hungry, the homeless, and lost, that a mixture of men as common as clay valued one thing beyond cost, and they've signed it in blood. From Bunker Hill to Saigon, Kuwait, Bosnia, Kabul, Baghdad, and Tokori. I give you the flag that says to the world, each man has a right to be free. This is Baxter Black from out there.